three inches. Three, three inches is big for Mike. I mean, three inches, nine inches. What's the difference, right? Um, That's actually his hinge profile. <laughs> I have that tattooed. That's a great bio. That's his bio. Tattooed yeah. on my upper thigh. Three inches, nine inches. What's the difference? What's the difference? <laughs> <laughs> he did the math. Let it ride. <laughs> Good evening, Degenerates, and welcome back to another episode of Degen Hours. It is UFC 303 weekend coming at you live from Las Vegas, Nevada, T-Mobile Arena. Um, it is going to be an electric card. At first, we thought this was the return of Conor McGregor. Yeah. Conor McGregor and Michael Chandler were finally going to get their fight. They Chandler's been waiting toe. for, like, what, two and a half, three years? Oh, yeah. Not oh, yeah. taking a fight yep. just to wait for McGregor. Conor McGregor. Finally got it, and McGregor's pinky toe is, yeah, is bothering him a little bit, so I think they Dude. pushed it to what? He's got to be 100%. Yeah, we they pushed best. it to the end of the year, quarter four or something, but... Do you quote it as this is going to be the biggest return in sports history, and then you leave because of a pinky... Like He's got too much money. Broken toe. He's got too much money. It's is an NBA toe. curse. So I, it's it's, it's got to be 100%. It's just unbelievable. Um, unbelievable. But yeah, they replaced it with Pereira <laughs> and Prohaska. Um, oh. This is going to be an electric fight. I mean, the card Insane. looks better to me the more I look at it. As well, Completely. I know at first we thought it was just a McGregor fight. We're like, oh, the rest of it's kind of rocking. <coughs> but I have a feeling Mike is going to have quite a few picks for today. Yeah, this so, is going to be one of those ramble on. Without further ado, let's let him get into it and talk some UFC. Let's go, baby. All right, we're here, UFC time. And if you've been following any of our UFC episodes, you know kind of the structure we go with here. Uh, Michael is a UFC fanatic. Oh, yeah. Every time I like it. you walk into his room, he's playing the UFC video game now since he got his PS5. It's a fun game. Uh -huh. You did get the PS5 in anticipation of NCAA football coming out. Yeah. But you've been spending a lot of time in that UFC game. Two for one special. I feel yeah. like you've been Two for one special. I feel exactly. like you, like, exactly. sim out the entire card. Like, match up everyone who's going to fight and then just make your picks off that. No, it's more like I play the game and I just choose the fighter who I really want to win, even if it's really unlikely. And then I'm just like, oh, this is my dream scenario. Yeah, ah. and then, oh, so you confirm It's a knockout bias. in first round confirm every single bias. time. It's yeah. great. No, that makes sense. Well, whatever you're doing, keep doing it because you've been on fire with all of the UFC cards so far. <clears throat> um, and then we're going to let Ryan go next. So, Mike, I'll yield the floor. I know you got a lot. Let's see if we can, you know, keep this, keep up to pace here. Oh, yeah. All right. So in typical Michael fashion, we're going to stop with start, not stop, definitely not stop. We're going to stop. We're going to stop. Gonna and stop. then we're going to start at the very first fight of the night. And that is going to be Ricky Simone versus Vinicius Oliveira. The only reason I bring this up is because Vinicius Oliveira a couple months ago had the wildest uh, knee to the face knockout that went ultra viral. And because of that, he gained a lot of popularity, a lot of momentum. Um, but with that being said, he knocked out a scrub, and Ricky Simone is not a scrub. Ricky Simone is, you know, he's coming off a two-fight losing streak, but both of those fighters they lost to are better than Vinicius Oliveira. So, again, he's a heavy favorite at minus 260 for a reason. I'm betting Ricky Simone, and when it gets closer to a fight, Ricky Simone by decision is the actual bet that you should be placing. Moving down, a legend, an absolute UFC legend, Andre Orlovsky, going in at plus 210 versus Martin Boudet at minus 260. Now, again, this usually wouldn't be relevant, relevant but Andre Orlovsky is the most legendary UFC guy ever. He's been fighting since... 2000, the year 2000, so mm. 24 years. Um, How old is he? Oh, yeah. I think How he's he? 45 or something. He's in his prime. Uh, oh. No. Um, but he is a future Hall of Famer. When he was fighting at heavyweight, I mean, he was literally one of the best in the world. He used to have a have a belt, um, defended, I believe, once. But it doesn't really matter because nobody beats Mother Time or Father Time. Mother Time. Or Mother, Mother Nature. Time. And the aging Father process nature, of, mother, mother of uh, you know, biogenetics and genetics. Mother and time. Regardless, uh, regard him. Yeah. Regard regardless, regard, him. regard me. Your chin gets weaker every single time that you take punches to the face. And he's taken a lot of punches to your face over this 24-year UFC career. Um, so I love you because you're a legend, but you're going to die. So Martin Boudet at minus 260. And again, it hasn't come out yet, so I don't know the odds. But Martin Boudet by KO is... It, it, it's just easy. He hasn't done it in the UFC yet, but this is the the time to do it. Um, he has the ability, and he's he it'll happen. 
Next, unbelievably close fight. This is crazy. Charles Air Jordan. Yeah, that's the coolest nickname. The coolest nickname. His nickname is Air, but his last name is Jordan, so it's like Air Jordan, but yeah. Okay, he's going against John Silva. Brazilian f- <laughs> John Silva. You got to go Air Jordan. I'm already, um, yeah, I'm betting, yeah, I'm betting Air Jordan. Add yeah. that to my card. So, my card. good pick. Mike. Air Jordan, Jordan, is coming off a uh, pretty close loss to Sean Woodson. Um, but, I mean, it's still a loss. And John Silva, this is his second fight in the UFC. He won... His debut, which was a couple months ago, he's an excellent striker. Um, re- hits really, really hard. He displayed that in UFC's Contender Series, and Jordan is overall like you know he's a more well-rounded fighter, except for the fact that he has a ten percent takedown accuracy. And so you know, I think the only way that he would win is to grapple him better, and I don't know if he's going to be able to do that if he can't take him down. So Jean Silva at plus 105, the first up uh, underdog of the night right there, baby. Right, but you're forgetting this guy's name is Air Jordan. Yeah. Yeah, he's going to die. But um, so he's not betting Air Jordan. No, no I'm, I'm betting Air Jordan. So you're taking yeah. off. Yeah. So it, a good pick. It's actually a really, really good pick. He did really pick close. Air Jordan. No. no he did pick he's Jordan. giving out the wrong pick. Yeah. Oh, gotcha. He knows the right he pick. He meant to say Air Jordan. Correct. Okay. Just add that change. If you're putting up his no, picks, change the, it to Air yeah. Jordan. The pick, it's very close. But Jean Silva yeah. at plus 105. Air Jordan. No. Um, even money. Great, great odds. Uh, next up, I actually don't even almost really want to talk about this, mm. um, but Cub Swanson versus Andre Feely. Cub Swanson, another UFC legend, been in the game for a while. Andre Feely is six years younger, has three inches of height and a four-inch reach advantage. Um, so, yeah, you know, that's easy. something. I mean, he's got three inches. I, you got to go with that guy. Three I mean, that's inches. a massive. Three, three inches. inches. Massive. Three inches is big for Mike. I mean, three inches, nine inches. What's the difference, right? Um, that's actually his hinge profile. Uh, I have that tattooed. <laughs> it's a great bio. That's his bio. Tattooed yeah. on my upper three thigh. Three inches, nine inches. What's the difference? What's the difference? <laughs> <laughs> he did the math. Let it ride. <laughs> um, wow. I. Uh, wow. Uh, so, so Andre Feely. So Andre Feely. Yeah. Uh, no, Cub Swanson actually opened up at the favorite. At minus 145 and is now plus 215. So, so there's no shot he wins. I did just want to yeah. note the line movement. Yeah, there is no shot he no wins. Shot Andre Feely, way younger, yeah. way better. Just go with that. Right, just Scott. off the Come line squats. movement. That tells you everything. And now, the main card. All right. Ian Machado Gary, Ryan's boy versus Michael Venom Page. <laughs> Arguably my boy. Um, this is. I would, abs- I would give you the tag, your boy. You've been talking about him for a while. He is, yeah, I, I love this I'd guy so much. Yeah. Um, Michael's got a lot of blood. Yeah. <laughs> Pause. Three inches Time or nine out. inches? What's Hold. the difference? Okay. All right. The, the, <laughs> it's getting old. Go with your venom. Go with your guy. Getting old. But uh, first, first note I have actually is. They can't see that. They, yeah. Okay. We'll put well, it up. You yeah. can put it up if no, you want. Okay. You just, yeah. I'll screenshot it. Sure. It says, holy fucking shit. Ah. Um, yeah. That's, That's a good note. Yeah, so this is an unbelievably close fight. Uh, here's the thing. Wait, can you read that first note again? Holy f***ing shit. Ah. Okay, 18 inches. Just making sure. I caught it 17 the first time. Yeah. It's actually yeah. the face he makes when it's above three inches. Okay. That's, That's strike, strike one. That's time out. That's time out. That's strike. That's push it. That's Brian. You're the A. That's Brian. Brian. Call Des Brian. Just holy f***ing shit. <laughs> ah. <laughs> That's wild. Ah, ah, that's wild. Okay. That's wild. Ah, that's wild. That's wild. Yeah, don't put Des Bryant in this. Yeah, because yeah, the X. Because strike. No, we don't. What about Big X the plug? Oh, Big the X Texas the plug. plug. Bitch, we from Texas. Yeah. Um, guy's fat enough to have the whole city tattooed on him. Hey, man, I'm God. <laughs> All right, it might be two. <laughs> <laughs> Holy Jesus. Christ. I'm talking about UFC or what's going on? All right, sorry. yeah, anyways, I'm sorry. Getting off topic. <laughs> so. Ian Machado Gary is on an insane UFC streak. He's undefeated, and he is pretty much the next big thing for the UFC. Mm. Um, He's arguably going to be, like, up there with one of the greats, like, one of the legends, like, seriously, like, one of the greatest fighters is the track that he's going to be on um, or that he is on currently. But he is going up against a serious opponent in Michael Van Page, who is an excellent elite striker. He is just making his kind of walk into the UFC. And, I mean, the odds, Ryan's, show, the odds are close, too. 
odds are unbelievably yeah, close. I think it's minus 150 and plus 125. Yep. Um, but anyways, I think MVP doesn't have much time to get his belt, and so I think he is pushing unbelievably hard for it. I think he is one of the greatest distance strikers that we've seen in the UFC in a very long time. He is so good at just keeping his range, throwing a little three-strike combo, and just getting out of dodge. Like, it's so hard to hit this guy, and I think the way Ian Gary would win is to just keep it close, go, like, unbelievably berserker mode and just attack him, and I personally do not think he has it in him. I think Michael Van Page is going to just put on a display at what distance control is. He's going to continue his walk into uh, that UFC contender for a belt and i think ian gary has a long career ahead of him and i don't think if he loses here it's the end of the line in any way shape or form i think he'll get right back on the horse really quick but i think in this instance it is michael van page because of his ability to keep distance and because of ian gary's lack of wanting to change it up like they're they're both just going to be standing and throwing fists so that's how i feel uh, next up, we're going with Anthony Lionheart Smith versus Roman Dolidze. This oh, yes. is a crazy, crazy fight. Roman all day, baby. Uh, well, I mean, you know, it's a really, really close fight. I personally really like Anthony Smith because a couple years ago there was a story of some of two armed robbers like breaking into his house and he like fended oh, them this off. Guy? Yeah. Yes. Oh, sick. He is the Add most badass guy ever. Add that to my card. Um. And Delizze is on two fight loss streak in the middleweight division. Yeah. He also he went like middleweight, then bantamweight, and then back to middleweight, and then he's going up to light heavyweight, which is where uh, Anthony Smith has been his entire career. He's never moved. He's just weighed a fat two hundred five, um, very comfortable there. And I think Roman Delizze, until he gets comfortable in one weight class, is going to continue his losing streak. So. I'm actually taking Anthony Smith at plus 125 here. And that's the guy that defended the house. That yeah. is the guy who nice. defended the house. Um, Lionheart. Yep, Lionheart. So yeah. let's go, baby. Heart of the lion. All right, second to last fight of the night, co-main event, co event, and one that was literally thrown together a couple weeks ago. So both of these fighters are taking it on short notice. Local legend to us, Brian T-City Ortega, the beach. fighting out of Torrance, California, which is pretty much redondo beach really really close um and he is going ab up against one of my favorite up-and-coming fighters in the past couple of years diego lopes uh this is a crazy crazy close fight because both of these guys fight so similarly um they're both very good on the ground and they're both really good wrestlers i think on the ground t-city is a little bit better that's just i mean he has the uh resume to prove it um, he's, he's known for just being an unbelievably jujitsu ju practitioner, but Diego Lopes is coming off a knockout when against a arguable striker in MMA. Um, I think that's really impressive and every fight starts fight starts standing. Sorry. Uh, long story short, this is my biggest fight of the past three months. Ooh. I have $500 on it already Ooh. locked in and I'm going with my boy Diego Lopes at uh -huh. minus 150. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Also, quick story, because Brian Ortega did go viral recently for a story about how he is like an eagle, and when eagles get to a certain age, they go to a mountaintop, break their wings, clip their uh, beak and shit, and they... Wait, he's get, an eagle? Yeah, he's saying that he gets reborn as an eagle, and he gets whatever, some stupid shit. Kind of, I mean, it's kind of cool. Well, it's kind actually, of the psychotic... It was actually demand. really badass, but... For this instance, against me, it's corny as f so f yourself. Um, and last up. I like that. I like that a lot. Last up, Yuri Prohaska, the Czech Samurai versus Alex Pajera. I, dude, I, I actually went into Pretty this. Easy, huh? I went into this not knowing if I would take a choice at all. Um, Alex Pajera obviously won the first fight, but in no way... Did he put on a class or anything? The actual only thing that he, he didn't landed. Have time to knock him out too early. Yeah, I know. The only thing he no, that, I mean that I would Real disagree with talk. that. What do you mean? Four minutes in the second round. Yeah, but I mean yeah, they, it, the fight lasted less than six minutes. Gets gets a couple of lucky strikes. Um, have, I was just saying he didn't have time to do anything. 
six minute fight. It also arguably got stopped early. Arguably. I mean, I don't think it would have ended any different, but... You let that fight go another couple seconds, we might not be having this rematch. <laughs> you, you might be right. Anyways, I think Yuri's a really smart guy, and I think if he can adapt and he could start checking some leg kicks, and also the fact that he is just the most berserk, slightly, like, robotic motherfucker we've seen, he just continues to go forward and continues to attack like a dog. It's actually insane and very impressive that the only way he'll lose is if his brain is knocking himself out. Um, so, or Pereira's fist knocks him. Or Pereira's fist knocks him out. Yeah. Again. Also, Pereira. Just quick note, quick little asterisk. Pereira, I think, is on the craziest sun run. It's insane. Uh, like of maybe any athlete ever. He comes into UFC three years ago, has eight fights. He's won seven of them and five of them by knockout. The only one he lost and was to Israel, right? Yeah. Was to Izzy. And then he beat him. Well, he, he beat him and he yeah. lost. Yeah. And then no, he beat him the first beat him the first time, yeah. lost the second time. He won time. the second third. Or he won the third time. No, there was no third, third time. time. There they're, was no they're third time. They're going to fight the next fight. They're gonna fight yeah, a third yeah, yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but he won but the no, first. What was it? They fought before UFC, though. They Correct. fought out and of the And then won. So they fought in like Pahara won in kickboxing. In kickboxing. Okay, that's what it was. But anyways, Pahara's on the craziest sun run ever. Uh and I think he has a possibility of being the first ever three division belt champion. I think to do that, he has to get through Yuri and I'm kind of rooting for it. So although I don't really want it, I think Pahara is the bet to make here. So Pahara at minus 150 is my choice for the main event. There you have it. That's it. All right. Well, Mike uh, didn't have very many picks for you. So that's, that's <laughs> unfortunate. But at least, at least you got a couple. Yeah, just, at least just, you got just a couple. A few, out of just them. a few. All right, um, handing it off to Ryan, who's also been doing very well in these UFC cards. Um, he gave it a parlay last episode. I believe what was it? Plus, like one eighty or one ninety. Plus one ninety. It was a four legger of favorites. Absolutely. And oh, they were never, yeah, never even a sweat. So. Yep. I don't know if you still have that for the people this time. Well, I have another parlay. I'm another parlay. Go. You don't go undefeated and stop. It's okay. the game yeah. rule, you know what I mean? Got it. All right. Well, well, four I'll make it quick for you guys. Don't worry. But um, one thing I want to get out of the way, there's one fighter that's fighting on this card that many people don't know about yet, but they will. His name's Peyton Talbot. Oh. He's an absolute freak of nature. He's only had eight, seven or eight fights. He's won all of them. I think he's only gone to submission, or gone to decision once. He's a freak of nature. He's minus 1,600. I was going to say, yeah. For, for, this, um, for this fight, put him in all your parlays just to get the juice. I know it doesn't look good. Put him in the three leg. It's a free leg. It's a free leg that you're going to get a little juice on. There's no universe where he loses. But my real bet will be the over one and a half rounds. He, he might be 25. He fights like a vet. He In the first round. The over, even though they're not going to decision? Yeah, he he's never gone to decision, but he hits. I think he only gone under one and a half rounds. So once. it's like a... End of the second, so, third round knockout. Exactly. Okay. So what he does in the first round is picks apart his opponents. Like I said, he's, he's, tw wears people he's 25 down. and he just waits. He waits and waits and waits. And when the time comes, normally second round, you might get unlucky. It might be early second round, but I like the over. It's minus 145, so you know it's the bet people are people are taking and the odds book are wanting you to take or the smart people are taking. So I like the over a lot. This guy's a freak. Just watch him for the future because I love him. I love so that. just Peyton Talbot, the over in rounds. He should, if you want to get freaky, should knock him out late second, early third at worst. But I, I want to get up. freaky. Yeah, get freaky with it. And then I don't. I, I wasn't gonna bet this fight, but I don't know how I don't bet Air Jordan. Who's yeah. he fighting? Air Jordan. Uh, it doesn't matter. Silver. Yeah, Sean yeah, John Silver. Yeah, I have to bet. Out of here, I, I actually don't know much about Air Jordan, but just I mean that name. Yeah, I yeah. I mean I have sure. to hammer that. Easy. Absolutely. Uh, that's, that's another free leg in the parlay. Oh, yeah. free. Absolutely free. I think and it's then, also plus money. It's minus one twenty five. Ah, oh, beautiful. Oh, I love minus twenty five. Yeah, throw it in there. And then my next bet, unfortunately, Michael might not be five hundred dollars richer. No, not Ian Gary. Uh, Brian no, Ortega. Yes, yeah, Brian Ortega. Uh, Brian Ortega. This should. I agree. This should be an insane fight. They are identical fighters. The only thing, the small, they both have the same advantage. Uh, Lopes is um, unbelievable when he gets to the ground and submitting people. I think Ortega's unbelievable at defense. I think it'll be close. I think if Ortega just doesn't get submitted, which I think his takedown defense is good enough, he could go. He could last longer through the fight and win this fight through decision. Personally saying, personally speaking. Love that. That's why I like Ortega. You, I don't think... Oh, no, no, continue. I'm sorry. I think they are very similar fighters in takedown. I think striking-wise, Lopes will be a better striker during it. Takedown, it'll be sort of even. I just think the defense, it'll be very close, but I just think 
Ortega will be able to last a little bit longer when it comes down to takedowns. That's it. I just like Brian Ortega here. I haven't been a huge fan of Lopes recently. I know Michael loves him. He looks really good. He's unbelievably fast, and he gets to the ground quick. But I just like Ortega here at a plus money spot. It, it should be an insane fight. It's plus 125, right? Though. Yes, it's plus 125. It should be both are on each other's backs round yeah. after round after round if it goes the distance. So I think it's going to be a crazy fight. But I like Brian Ortega at plus 125. Uh, next fight, Max Bet, your lifeline, Ian Gary. I mean, this is my guy. He's never lost a fight. It's never going to stop. MVP, we all were on him, I mean, me included, against Holland. It was a free bet. I like the guy. I have nothing against this guy. There's just levels to this. You know what I mean? In my personal opinion, you're not fighting in Bellator anymore. There you got are your levels one, to this. You got, you got UFC now, and you're not in Bellator. You got your one fight. I hate Kevin Holland. I don't think it was... It was impressive. It was fun to win, but Kevin Holland just yeah, sucks. He beat the much. shit out of him. I just hate Kevin Holland. Ian Gary's a different beast. I'm pretty sure Ian Gary matches his height. And reach and yeah. weight. He is, one of the, he is one of the few people because Michael and Van Page is thin more to like Slender Man. Oh, yeah. They're Normally MVP is, has the everything height, yep, reach, yep. everything. It's identical. I think they're the same height, same reach, close, yep, exactly. and, and probably the same weight. And that's why I think MVP's normal strengths will not be shown in this fight. Like your his three step drop and being able to reach out opponents and stay on defense at the same time. I just personally think Ann Gary's going to destroy him regardless though i have ian gary very big i love the <coughs> under because this will be a boxing match and they'll be going at each other's heads there's never going to be on the floor in all these guys career fights i think three or four has ended in submission nothing's going to the floor here it's going to be yeah. a boxing match so i like the under in the in under one and a half rounds for this to be a knockout some way i just love ian gary i think he's unbelievable like michael said i think he's the next coming of one of the best fighters in ufc for sure so ian gary's my guy lock it in and then the main fight i mean i i i thought about it for so long i can't go against my czech samurai i had yep. him last time against Pe para it hurt he caught prayer caught him i think i think um yuri went into the fight thinking that nothing he has such a good chin on him he thought nothing can hit him hard enough where he'd get knocked out. I think he was so confident in his ability, how strong he is, and how, like, Perez has amazing striking, ab striking ability. He just didn't think it was that tough. And I think Yuri was just, I mean, you don't see many people push Alex to the uh, so side. He stays in the middle. He was pushing Alex to the side, but Alex was just tearing him apart. So I think if he, like Michael said, if he's technical and just has a little more brain on him instead of just attacking like a psycho, he'll win this fight. I'm going with him once again. I'm back against the wall. My last try with Yuri, I'm not I giving it. I'm not giving up yet. I'm definitely not giving giving up yet. But I do love Yuri a lot, and I like the over. And I think no matter what, these guys both need to win. Yuri cannot lose because of how embarrassed he got in the first fight. And like Michael said, Alex wants to go for the record, or uh, three time having a belt three times in three different weight classes. So I just realized the over is one and a half rounds for that fight. Okay, hammer the over. Literally smack hammer the over. No, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Smash it's only the over. it's only one you're not getting like minus one seventy or minus two ten or whatever. Oh my god, that yeah. is so that is so good. And then wow. to round up, going two and zero for hopefully this time. I got my parlay, Ryan. It's the young gun parlay. All the guys I'm betting on are the young guns in other fights. Um, Joe Pfeiffer minus three twenty against uh, Mark Andre Burial. Yo, Pfeiffer should kill him. It shouldn't be really close. He's like five years younger, has a longer reach. He, he KOs everyone. I think Pfeiffer is just free here. American boy. We all yep. got to go with our yep. boys. And then the next one, uh, Mike already brought him up. Uh, Andre Feely over Cub Swanson. Cub's just mm -hmm. a billion years old. Yeah. And I think it's just, you know, end of your career. Nothing's really going to happen. Not that Andre Feely's not old. Also getting up there, but younger. I just think he'll kill him. And then my guy, Peyton Talbot, over one and a half rounds. I already told you that I think that... The, he's such an experienced young fighter that he'll go the distance and that'll fuck him up. And that parlay, a hundred dollar pays two thirty. Pays or wins? Ooh. Or wins two thirty. Wins two thirty. So it's plus so it's two. Plus two thirty. Okay. Yeah. I love so. that. I actually, in quick spirit of Ryan, also created a parlay, but it is a lot more deadly and probably should be bet with way less than a single unit. Um, but it is plus six fifteen, and it is Martin Boudet, which is the uh like second fight of, or I'm sorry, the third fight of the early prelims Andre Feely versus Cub Swanson so we're shared on that one this is where it gets dicey but Anthony Lionheart Smith at plus 125 and then Diego Lopes uh versus Brian Ortega again unbelievably risky parlay but it pays 615 and I was doing it in the spirit and the honor of Ryan so nice. let's hit some giveaway yeah, parlays, baby. I like it all right um 
I have three picks. Well, Air Jordan is another pick. So Air Jordan. More picks. Yeah. Air Jordan. Uh, Air Jordan. Jordan. Yeah. Jordan. So last time at UFC 295, uh, Pereira knocked out Prohaska in the early second round, and he's going to do it quicker this time. So your bet is going to be Pereira by knockout plus 110 if you want to get spicy first round knockout because he's going to knock him out quickly. Wow. Um, Pereira is the best fighter in the division, in my opinion. I think he's one of the most lethal fighters in the UFC. And we've already seen what happens when these two get together. I'm sure Prohaska will, you know, be prepared for it. I just think Prayer is much, much better. So I think this one's a round one finish. I think it's going to be an electric knockout, and it'll go all over um, ESPN. And then my two other ones, I like Michael Venom Page strictly because of the nickname, and I watched him fight last time. He's electric. I know Ian Gary's good. Um, I thought the odds would be a lot more in the favor of Ian Gary, which is the reason I'm taking Michael Venom Page. Um, if Ian Gary was minus 270 or 260, like I think he probably should be because I think he is that guy, um, then I'm taking Ian Gary because I think it's telling you everything you need to know. But Mike, Michael Venom Page is getting close to a favorite. I mean, he's plus 115, not that far away from a pick him here. And I think there's a little juice on the on the underdog side here. So I'm going Michael Venom Page. And my last bet, I'm going Brian Ortega plus 125 over Diego Lopes as well. That. Bang. Bang. Mario, do you have any? Uh, yeah, I have a few. Uh, I'm going to be betting on Brian Ortega, just piggybacking off of that. Uh, got to rep our city. Yeah. Coming from the South Bay. Got to. Got to. He also fights on Huntington Beach. I know. He's a gym. Yeah. So it's like the double. For us. So everyone's going against Mike on this. Yeah. I like it. Uh, really? but then, but then yeah. I'm hopping yeah. back on Mike's side. Sure. With Michael Venom Page. Oh my God. I'm so Ian uh, Gary. Let's sure, go. We have the same card. I go on my own. Prayer by knockout. Uh, I mean, well, Prayer's gonna murder him. Uh, I do. Th- I, li- I like the over though. I don't like the under. Uh, just it. because I think Prohaska first round is gonna be kind of tentative because he's been knocked out before. Yep. Uh, I don't think he's gonna be rushing as much. But then uh, he has no self control, willpower, so he's gonna be running at him in the <laughs> second round and third. <laughs> I round. agree with that. And I really he's gonna get caught. And I'm predicting it right now because I see the future, Conor McGregor. Uh, I'm calling my shot. It's gonna be end of the second round, leg kick to the head. Alex knocks like him out. Like Leon Edwards style? I'd take that because I'm having the knockout, but just get end of the first round, though. Just make it the end of the first well, round. I can't. I, like, I've already seen it. All right, I'll bet first. Like, I've actually already knockouts. seen I've all seen right. it how it goes. Uh, so, yeah, Pereira all over him. Uh, I am I know you like Anthony Smith. He has a cool nickname, and that story is pretty dope. But uh, take this, Roman to let's say. Sure. No, no. I, yeah, I got to go with Roman here. Uh, bouncing all over. Strictly because this dude is uh, from Georgia, which is a crazy region. In the world, and yeah. uh, I I don't know. He's lost two times. I feel like they don't lose three times in a row over there. Like they they, they just move different. He just so has no familiarity <laughs> in any weight class that he fights in anymore. Which is no which is how I want good. it. You want everything sporadic and just unsettled. <laughs> Never let Mario him know your next Mario move. loves the chaos. No, I mean Never they, let him know your next move. No, that's how they, that's how they move. You know, I mean everything's unstable. You know, so <laughs> the yeah. Country. The country, their yeah. dollar over there, yeah, everything, the economy. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out all the Georgia fans. And uh, who's Cub Swanson fighting? Andre, Andre Feely. Feely. Yeah, take give me Andre Feely. Yeah, I hate Cub Swanson. Right, yeah. uh, I've Wait, always hated. Why? Him. What? Because he's just he's, he's been fighting forever, he's and he legend. and he's been losing forever. That's true. Uh, <laughs> that's, that's very true. <laughs> and. Uh, and uh, yeah, give me Air uh, Air Jordan. Air Jordan. Just yeah. add it to the card. Oh, and that's and that's it. So all four of my picks you have. So Start. we're going to be riding this together. Yeah. I like right. it. Tate, end us off here. Do you have any picks for this card? Well, first of all, Ryan is not alone. I love Ian Machado Gary. Yeah. Oh, that's okay. Gonna, that's going to be sick. I'll take um, it. I honestly, like, you know, you know me. I'm like Mike when we talk about, you know, I don't know, anything but basketball, UFC. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know a lot about you. Shooting from the hip. Wow. Loved, loved what Ryan had wow. to say about uh, Ian, shots fired. Ian, Ian you just said Mike on anything not UFC is just, <laughs> you know, crap shit. All right, fine. All right, fine. Golf. Uh, Mike, he is Mike sharp on golf. golf. He is sharp yeah. on golf. Yeah. What do you, you called uh, shoe yeah. the other week. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, and I picked uh, what's his name? Yeah, uh, well said. No, Clay. Clay. What's his name? Clay. Yeah, um, Wyndham. Yeah, and then Mike, you're also not alone. Uh, sorry, guys. I, I actually really like Diego Diego Lopes. Yeah. Let's go! We're fully split on this, Johnson. Bang! Oh, Adam, Johnson. Yeah. So yeah, absolutely, oh, absolutely, fully, you. fully split. I love those two, and then uh, I'll, I'll take I'll take Anthony Smith as well. Woo! Oh, oh Ryan Hot. There you have it, Sometimes everyone. Place. Everyone's kind of all over the place. Yeah. We're not, yeah. This is the first UFC card. 
where I think Ryan and Mike have been really opposites on some of their bigger really plays. Against each other. And me, Mario, and Tate, usually we're just like kind of riding what the consensus is, but we're kind of all over the place too. Yeah, so yeah we got I like office. it. Who knows? We're going to be watching this from a fun. wedding, so it's going to be electric. Oh, it's the best hour day. It's going to be a great way to watch it. Tate, before the people close out and enjoy this UFC 303 weekend, tell them what they need to do. You guys know what you need to do. Like, comment, subscribe. Yeah. Give us an oh yeah down below with that yeah. comment. Share <laughs> the channel with a friend. Turn that notification bell on. Whoa, ding, 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 ding. Next week, ding, 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 ding. Ding, 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 ding. 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 We'll see you next no, week. No, MVP and Diego Loops. Let's go. Three inches and nine inches. Ah.